Hello techies. Welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In the previous tutorials, we have seen how to extract images or how to extract text data from the PDF files. Now, in this tutorial, I want to extract the pages from the existing PDF. Let me show you a small example over here to make you understand. If you see on my screen, I'm having a PDF with number of pages is 32. That means this entire PDF I'm having 32 pages, but I don't want to get all these 32 pages. Out of these 32 pages, I required five or six based on my requirement. Let us assume I want up to five pages. I want to extract the PDF pages. Over here, if you see fun, if you see over here, one, two, three, four, and five. These five pages I required out of these 32 pages from the PDF. How can I go ahead and extract these PDF files and then we are going to create a new PDF file by using Power Automate Desktop. There I'm having an action that is extract PDF pages to new PDF action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Over here it is asking for the PDF file. I'm going to select this PDF file over here. On my desktop, I'm having PDF automation and I'm going to select MS PDF. This is the path that I'm going to select for the PDF. Click on open. Now, page selection. You can give the range over here that simply I'm going to give it as one to five. Okay. And then I'm going just going to give the page selection. From there, I'm going to create a new PDF file, right? I want to extract this PDF file and then I have to store somewhere on my desktop. You can see over here, extracted PDF file path. I'm going to select desktop, same location PDF, and I'm going to give the name as new PDF. And then I'm going to click on open. This is the entire path, which I'm going to give it over here. All right. Now, if you see over here, if files exist, and then add a suffix or overwrite or don't overwrite. Based on the requirement, we can go ahead. If you want to overwrite the existing files, then you will select to overwrite. If you don't want to overwrite the existing files, then it will create hyphen one, hyphen two like that. Or else add sequential suffix based on the suffix that it will be added. And if you see advanced, if you are having a password for the PDF file, then you are going to provide a password over here. And if you see the entire PDF, which you have been given for the page selection one to five will be extracted into the extracted PDF flow variable. You can see over here, this is the new PDF it will be. All right, let's click on save. As a common practice, I will use display message onto the workspace to know that, that the flow has been executed successfully or not. I'm just going to give the title as flow and then display message executed. All right, let me click on save. Now to see the output, let's run the flow. Flow execution started. And you can see the flow has been executed successfully. In that flow, we are having extract PDF pages to new PDF. That means it extracted one to five pages and then it has been stored in the specific file where we have given. All right, let me click on OK. Now let me show you the output. Now, if you see over here, I'm having new PDF, right? You can see, let me click on that, double click on that. Now you can see the files, the number of pages over here, you can see one to five pages. You can see all the pages which has been extracted from the extract PDF pages to new PDF. All right. You can see the same output over here. All right. Now, if you want to select some other pages, let assume if you want to change the pages, the page selection if you want to change it. Then I'm going to simply change this over here as five to 12. Now I'm going to select almost all seven pages over here. And if you see over here, if files exist, this option that I'm going to overwrite it. Because of this file is already available in my path, that's the reason I'm going to overwrite this file. All right, let me click on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output once again. Flow execution started and you can see the pages has been extracted from the original PDF and then it has been created a new PDF dot PDF and then it has been overridden by using this flow. All right, let's click on OK. Now let me show you the output. 
Now, if you see over here, the size, you can see the difference over here, 1028KB. All right. Now, I will show you the output. Let's double click on that. And you can see the pages are 128, but I want to know from the original pages, right? Let me open the original PDF also. This is the original. Let me go back to 7 over here. Sorry. Let me go to 5 over here. You can see the starting page is this one. And you can see the new PDF side by side. And you can see all the pages over here. You can see all the, on my right hand side, I'm having original on my left hand side, this new PDF. You can see all the pages over here, the same as is of the pages. All right. I hope you understand how to extract the PDF pages by using the action extract PDF pages to new PDF as part of the Power Automate desktop. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.